Hey everybody, it's Jen from Vine Styles. I hope everybody's doing well and that you're staying safe. Uh, today we have another really great wine that I'm excited about and this time I'm super happy because it's a red. Yay! So the wine that we're gonna be trying today is called Mariposa, which actually means butterfly in Spanish. And it's from Chile. And it's from the Moale Valley. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. And the La Comilla uh, subregion. And even more particular, the vineyard is called Tabontina. Yeah? The Gilmore uh, Winery was started in the uh, 1990s by uh, Francesco Gilmore and his daughter Daniela. And uh, the winemaker is actually Daniela's husband, which is Andrea Sanchez. So this is actually um, from old vines. The older the vines, the more concentrated the, the yields are. So smaller yields, meaning more flavor. And to stress it even more, they stress the vines by doing something that is called dry farming, meaning that they don't do any irrigation. So only the rain that they get in the winter and the spring um, is the only water that these grapes see. 800 millimeters of annual rainfall happens here. To give you some perspective on that, we get about um, like almost like 350 to 500 milliliters of uh, annual rainfall here in Calgary. So they only get a little bit more rainfall where the, the grapes are grown here and there is no irrigation. So these, these uh, vines are stressed, but that's actually really good for it because it's just gonna concentrate the, the flavors. These vines are actually grafted on to old mission vines. Now, fun fact, mission or pais or criolla is actually the first grape to be planted or the first grape vines to be planted in Chile. And they're on the original rootstock of uh, Vitis viniferia. There is this little louse that um, made its way on a rootstock from America all the way over the ocean into Europe. And the wine industry almost shut down because of this tiny little louse that eats the, wood, uh, the rootstocks. Um, but in Chile, because they're so protected and so isolated by the Andean Mountains there, because they're right next to Argentina, um, Chile is just right there on the coast. Hopefully I'll throw up a map. They are so isolated by the Andy Mountains that uh, the louse actually didn't make its way over there. Ooh, today we're gonna to be doing a recipe too. I hope I mentioned that at the beginning. If not, then we are. Ooh, already smells of like berries, just lots of berries, like all the berries, like blackberry, raspberry, just like, just wafting out. Ooh. can't even see through it. Sorry, guys. You can't even see through it. It's so dark. It's so concentrated. Oh yeah. Okay. This is going to be amazing. Oh. Oh, it makes me want to cry. Oh, it's so nice. It is like ripe. It is like ripe and concentrated raspberry, the blackberry notes, little strawberry. It has flowers on there. I get like some rose as well as like the violet note, but it's like some rose notes. Very complex. Some pepper on there and some cured meat. Hmm. Oh, that's Mmm. <laughs> Great acidity. Lots of blackberry on there. Uh, lots of raspberry, lots of strawberry, all those red fruits that I mentioned again. Those white, uh, like that white pepper note on it. And that cured meat, there's some smokiness on there. Like, it's just so lovely. Like, it's so smooth and everything. But I think, like, one hour of decanting, this wine would be stellar. Which we're going to be doing because we're going to be making popcorn to go with this.
Just like everything else in life, when you have a little bit of stress, uh, you become a better and more complex person. Same goes for wines. When they go undergo some stress uh, in the vineyard, it just creates this amazing concentration and amazing complexity. And I can't believe that this wine is 25% off. I'm gonna be buying like 12 packs of it. It's so good.